Did we overrate Duke? No. I mean, look, I said they had a chance to go undefeated and win a championship, so technically the answer is yes. But no, not in the larger sense, and I'll tell you why. This Duke team was, look, what did every college super team that ever, like, who did they lose to that ever didn't win the championship? Duke, like everyone, <laughs> UNLV, under, running Rebels, oh my God. Uh, Fab Five, right? Like, oh my God. You run into a Coach K coached team, and it's like, so this was, this captured my imagination to start the season, unlike any college team ever, because it was like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Coach K is playing the one and done game? Like, he has a Kalapari yeah. team, but Coach K got it? <laughs> what? You, you're giving him the college super team? Oh, my God. And, by the way, last night we saw it. Like, they should have lost, but they have the athletic ability to clamp down. And all of a sudden, just by playing with more energy defensively, everyone's six foot nine and fast, twitchy, and all over the place, and they win. I can't say we... That, that we were, it's not that we didn't overrate them, that I was wrong to overrate them. I was, even though, even if I turned out to be wrong, I was still right to be that excited. Oh my God. Coach K this is guy. playing the Kalapari game? Who doesn't want to see this? And by the you way, you're telling me they're not going to win a championship this year? Okay, you sure about that? You're special. I mean, you, look at you. Look at me. You're good at this. <laughs> you acknowledge you were wrong and say you're still going to end up right. You were wrong in overhyping them, but somehow that was the genius play to make. I, Deep down inside, you yeah. know what I mean, and you, yeah. you know. And I even figured out how you did it. You took a Duke team in 2019 that has undoubtedly been overhyped, and that's not even an insult because they've been placed on the plane of all-time greats. You mentioned the right names. The last time I truly remember a team like this that people said the kind of things that you have said this year about them, undefeated in a national championship, was that UNLV team. Yeah. It was Larry Johnson. It was Stacey Ogman. It was Greg Anthony. What a team. It was unbeatable, we thought, until it wasn't. And this team is already giving – hold on. I don't want to get to that really, really flimsy point you made. Um, this team's already giving us the warning signs. They lost to Gonzaga. They lost to Syracuse. And this game should have been a nail. Now, you can look at this game and you can choose to take – positive optimism from it and say, wow, look what they can do in 10 minutes. Or you can look at it realistically and go, look where they got in 30 minutes of action. If they can put themselves in this kind of hole, they can do it again. And if you do it in the tournament, you can't bank on these kind of spectacular 10-minute spans to pull you out over and over. Now, to get yourself out of this idea that you've now seen, you might have overhyped Duke a little bit. The fact that you use a Duke No, team, I didn't overhype them. I overrated them, but not overhyped okay, them. That's a fine just, distinction. Fine <laughs> distinction for another day. You lean well, Will on Kane, Esquire. Duke, you can, you you lean can see on the distinction. You lean on a Duke team from 30 years ago, 25 years ago, whatever we're looking at now. You lean on Duke teams with different players, different uniforms, different eras. Just because their jersey said Duke, and don't give me Coach K, doesn't mean the fact that he's not out there, so this overhyped team's actually going to be okay. It's ridiculous. The, the, it's, it's the most ridiculous wiggle you've ever made. I, I, no, no, no. I take I that feel back. In a way, I take that I feel in back. a way bad for you right now. I really feel sorry for you right now because you know exactly what I mean. And, like, what? you're forced to now argue against it. You know what I mean. The, the level of – you can't deny that you wondered – like, what would happen if Coach K played the one-and-done game? What would happen wait, wait. if he had – what would happen if he had the kind of recruiting class that a Calipari has and you're like, oh, my God, well, sure. that's an NBA team. Only Coach K is coaching them. You didn't wonder about that? Sure, but you that's not the point. You were astonished at the did level I go of around? talent? Did I say they're going to win the national championship? Now, undoubtedly. Now. Did I say they go to undefeated? I didn't say Your argument is the only kryptonite to a super team is Coach K. No, no, no I didn't that's say that. That's what you said, essentially. What I'm saying is, in a – sport organized in a one-and-done system. Even the best team doesn't always win the championship. There is no such thing really as the favorite. There's just the odds-on favorite. Now, clearly, that's not an undefeated team. They don't shoot it quite well enough, et cetera. You know, but when you start to look at the high-end talent, not only Zion Williamson, but like Cam Reddish and R.J. Barrett and these guys, can they win the championship? Of course. Yeah. What if, and, what, what, and, of what course. If, and what if they wind up winning the championship this year? Did I overrate them? Yes. Did I overhype them? Yes. No, I don't think so. A championship does not bail you out.
Bail me out of what? The undefeated. I didn't That's what he's Hold sticking on, wait, to, the undefeated. Me. Let's be honest about what happened. Best Stephen coach, A came best players, Stephen A they came out and said, hype. I we think get they it. have a chance. I know I'm – and he even prefaced it by saying, I know this may be jumping the gun. Mm -hmm. I think they have a chance to be undefeated and win the national championship. And I said, I agree. I feel the same way. They ob You're blaming obviously Stephen didn't A now? No, no. That obviously didn't happen. But if they win the national championship, right. that's not hyperbolic the way we felt, and it wouldn't be really what overrating them by much.